In this lecture, we are looking at an interesting problem where you are to design a DFA. The alphabet is A and B and the number of A's is a multiple of 3, should be multiple of 3 in your string and number of B's should be multiple of 2. So, let's try to see what is the language. Number of a should be multiple of 3 a a a and number of b should be a multiple of 2 b b something like this a b a a b this is also fine b a a b a is fine and you can have multiple so let's say now a becomes six times b b b is multiple of 2 so 4 this is also fine so, by looking at the language, it's clear that it is infinite, a language. So, how to design a DFA for this? Whenever you have some multiple of 3, multiple of 2 problem, it's modulo operation, okay? So, when you have some numbers and we have to represent it in the form of multiple of 3, so every number can be of the form so what happens numbers can be 3m it can be 3m plus 1 it can be 3m plus 2 isn't it each number can be represented as it can either when divided by 3 it leaves remainder 0 it leaves remainder 1 it leaves remainder 2 nothing more when we divide a number by 2, what should happen? It will again, it will leave remainder 0 or it will leave remainder 1. So, what happens? So, what are the, how many states will be there? So, when you divide a number by 3, the possible remainders are 0, 1, 2. When divided by 3 and when you divide by 2, possible remainders are 0 and 1. So, possible number of states will be, this count is 3, this is 2. So, 3 into 2, 6 states because a number might leave a remainder 0 with 3 and 1 with 2, 0 with 3 and 0 with 2, 1 with 3 and 0 with 2 and something like this. So, it will be like this. So, I have 3m, so number is of the form 3m, 3m plus 1, 3m plus 2. At the same time, so what I am saying is it can be, uh, so 3m, 3m plus 1, 3m plus 2. So, these are the numbers possible with 3, when divided by 3. Now, the number can be of the form 2n. 2n 2n okay or it can be of the form 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 1 so these are our states okay so this is the state so i'm writing like this it will become much easier because the numbers when divided by 2 and 3 so they will be of these forms Okay, so it's divisible by both 3 and 2. When it's divided by 3, it leaves remainder 1, but it's divisible by 2. Okay, like 4 is of the form 3m plus 1, but it's divisible by 2. It's 3m plus 2 and 2n. So something like 8 is 3m plus 2, 6 plus 2, and it's 2n. So you can find such numbers and then these are the possible states so six states the three remainders that we get with when divided by three and two remainders that we get when we divide by two and they are cross product with each other so this is these are the states i am starting here now let's try to see the transition what will happen so when and my alphabet is a and b so this is 0 0 now when i see an a then what happens now i have one a it becomes in the 3m plus 1 state 
I have 1m. I get 2a, it becomes 3m plus 2. Now I have 2, so 2 is of the from 3 into 0 plus 2. So when I divide 2 by 3, I get a remainder 2. Similarly, so there were now 0 b when I get a b here so it becomes 2n plus 1 1 b here there was now 0 b or even number of b's were there I get a b it becomes odd here there were even number of b when I get a b it becomes odd 3m here I have multiple of 3 3m a's are there if I increase 1a it will become 3m plus 1 if I have 3m plus 1 a's, if I increase a, it becomes 3m plus 2. But what happens if I have, now let's try to see what happens when I have other transitions. So for you should remember that in a DFA, you should represent for each state, you should give define the transition for both the, all the symbols. So a and b are done here. In this one, A and B are done. Here, B is done, A is not done. So, let's try to see what will happen for A. If I get an A here, A is of the form 3M plus 2. So, it is something like 5 or I have uh, 8. And then if I get an 1, it will become 3M plus 3, which is when divided by 3, it is of the form 3M. It will become divisible by 3. So, when I get and a here it will come there to the state 3m so here also two are defined a and b are defined so this is done here b a is defined but b what happens i get a b so number of b is now odd uh, so when i get a b here it will go to even number of b's and here because b is only transition is happening i didn't get a so number of a was of the form 3m it will remain 3m here let's try to see a you get it's done when i get a b so no a's are there so 3m plus 1 a's will be there and b will become 2n of the form 2m i have here a is nothing is defined so yeah here nothing has been done i think so if I get an A, so 3m plus 2 A's are there. So what will happen? Now I will have 3m plus 3 A's, which will be of modulo 3. It will be divisible. So when I get, so I will come here. So 2n plus 1 B's are there. When I get a B, I will go to 2n. It will become even. So now you see when I'm saying that I'm in the state 3m plus 2 and 2n plus 1, if I get a B, what will happen only the number of b's will change and hence modulo 3 will not change so this is there and now we see we should look that our transition function is done so dfa is done because for each state i think we have defined so this is done a and b here a and b this one a and b is done here b and a is done so B and A and it's done. B and A is done. So this is I think fine. Now let's try to see if things are getting accepted here. So let's take for example this one. Is it being accepted or not? So whatever we have done is it working? So A I get I go to this state so how should i write uh, i define it as q0 q q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 so i'm at q0 and what happens i get a i go to q1 i get a uh, then I go to Q2 then I get B so Q2 I get B so I am at Q5 again I get B 
so where will i go i will go to q2 from q2 again i get a b i go to q5 and again get a b i go to q2 okay so let's see so i'm at q2 and i get a b so 1 2 3 4 is already done so now a q2 i will get an a so where should i go i will go to q0 then i get an a so i go to q1 and then so what is happening let's try to see figure it out so i want multiple of three number of a should be multiple of three number of b should be multiple of three two so it this is the final state so q0 now here i get an a i go to q1 i get an a i go to q2 and q2 okay no so there i missed okay here is the problem i missed one a that's why i was having problem so this is not the string that i did but let's try to erase things out will it do so i missed a few things because of which there was problem so let's try to do it with some different color q2 q2 is here so q0 i got a i came to this one a q1 from here i got a q2 i got and then again i got an a at q2 if you get an a third a you go to q0 then you get b so you go to q3 you get a b again you go to q0 you get a b you again come to q3 you get a b you again go to q0 and you get three a's again so a on q0 you go to q q1 you get an a again you go to q2 you get an a you go to q0 so you go to q0 and this is the final state so this is working but let's say so it should dfa should accept the correct string and it should also reject strings which are not there so a a a should it accept a a, a b so let's try to see so i have q0 i see a i go to q1 i see a i go to q2 i see an a i come back to q0 i see a b i go to q what is this q3 so this is not a final state so this is not accepted okay so this one is for dfa where you have like multiples of a is multiple of 3 b is multiple of 2 okay so here you need to understand that if it was any of w is multiple of 5 so multiple of 5 and b of w is multiple of 6 so i have taken a big numbers so what happens now number of remainders for this is numbers will be of the form 5m 5m plus 1 5m plus 2 5m plus 3 5m plus 4 so it and then here it will be it has six remainders so there will be 5 into 6 30 states will be there for that dfa okay so to make it clear so if na of w is m okay uh, na of w modulo m is 0 and na of n b of w modulo n is 0 then how many states do we need we need m into n states for solving this problem okay another variation can be like my sigma can increase a b c now what happens n of a n a w modulo 
M is zero. N A W N B W modulo N is zero and N C W modulo and M N P is zero. Now how many states will be needed? So there will be correspondingly it will be multiplied. So M remainders for this, N remainders for this, P remainders for this. So M into N into P states will be there. Okay. And if your sigma increases to 4 A, B, C, D, then again you and this can be N, D, W modulo Q is equal to 0. So M into N into P into Q something like this and the other variant is that i can also say that okay n a w modulo m is equal to 2 that can also happen so for example in this example i could say that it's not a multiple of 3 but it's of the form 3m plus 1 and this one is of the form 2n plus 1 so 3m plus 1 2m 2n plus 1 this state is the final state in that case okay so this is about dfa problems which has of the form that naw is multiple of 3 nbw is multiple of 2 something like that so i hope you understand this thanks a lot